Thank you for tuning in to another episode of Tomorrow Man Podcast. I'm Andrew Roscoe, and today I'm joined by John Kilduff, Mr. Let's Paint TV. Hello. Hi. Hey, man. Thank you for, so much for doing this again. Sure. I really appreciate again, it. Yes. Ag- again, yes. We did it last year, no? No, no. And well, I mean, I mean I'm I, thanking I'm you kidding. for, for doing this. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah. Um, yeah, we were talking earlier about like uh, the start of your, your painting, you said, in high school, right? Yes. Um, do, was yeah. it your family that was influencing you to to take on painting or uh well I, yeah my, well my mom kind of you know was she an artist as well uh, sort of yeah yeah i mean yeah she, more as more of a housewife in a sense but yeah, yeah she she but art is a big part of her family uh or at least you know doing art stuff yeah you know? so yeah you know i think it's one of those things is is you're growing up as a kid you can um they, there's all little art opportunities, you know, for, mm-hmm. for usually, usually, yeah, uh, though not always, and uh, so yeah, so I was, I had always a little chance to, you know, make some art stuff in a, yeah. in a little class here and there, you know, and you sprinkle enough of that around, and then you also make decisions as you and as people kind of motivate you and try yeah. to, like, oh, you should keep doing this kind of thing. Yeah, yeah, it's and not not I wasn't really ever very good at it. Mm-hmm. Um, in fact, I remember this one time, I was taking a class, yeah, uh, like an illustration class, and uh, and it was it was at the community college, and um, but I was still in high school, and some of the other. High school students were also in the class. Oh, okay. And but they were heavily into doing like comic book art, um, illust- you know, like yeah, they yeah, were, yeah. They were they were way ahead of me in the in the um, always, let's just say drawing ability. Yeah. Well, it's always good to surround yourself with people that are better than you. I right? guess, yeah. but I just remember them s- kind of snickering at my <laughs> lame <laughs> ability. <laughs> but uh, but I you know. I still enjoy, I still enjoyed it enough to keep going. Yeah, and that's that's all, it, you know. And when uh you had to graduate from college uh, from that, right, Otis? Uh, I mean, ultimate. Yeah, I mean, I went on to college at Otis. Yeah. Uh, at the call it was called Otis Parsons School of Design or something. Oh, okay, some yeah. like nice they, long elaborate name. Yeah. yeah, they changed it, so it's just Otis. Uh, yeah. It makes it easier. Yeah. Um. I heard, I heard in a, a previous video that uh, landscape paintings were like probably like one of the more things you were attracted to, I guess, for yeah. for a good while like that. Yes. And then you yeah. you started talking about like evolving like from yeah. that. Like what what yeah. was is it out of boredom? Is yes. it y- y- yeah. A little bit. I mean or or frustration. And yeah. And frustration with with what just um just just being the life of an artist, you know, or just uh, <laughs> yeah. just struggle, you know. I mean, I don't yeah. know. I for some reason, I'm not um, uh, satisfied by just you know painting a landscape anymore. Even though I I still enjoy it. Yeah. It's like it's like making b- baking bread or something. It's a very utilitarian uh, process. And after or, you've done it so much, you're just like, okay, what was the next thing? Yeah. Um. Um. But I I think it's it. I don't know. I feel like there's more to it, and that's why I'm you know happy or excited to do different things than you know just paint a landscape but i do question it and i do um go back to it and i go you know it's still pretty good just paint a damn landscape oh no it's beautiful stuff i've seen your work on etsy and stuff like really really good well some of it and (laughs) uh so well for the first paintings i saw were the paintings that you started doing uh right on let's paint tv so and then i was okay i was surprised then i'm oh my god like he actually yeah like could really really go he's uh yeah but um yeah so when when you decided I guess like to like move away from landscape painting like what it, what inspired you to I guess start doing whatever else you know I mean you started Let's Paint TV in 2002 right uh 2001 uh, 2001 yeah yeah How, where did the idea of that come come from Well I was doing uh uh well I was already doing cable access shows um so I was already involved in making programming Yeah and but I I was trying to separate my painting process from my performance process. Mm -hmm. Like, uh, so, um, 
and then I just got I kind of ran out of ideas with the the, the stuff I was doing. Um, and I said, well, let's just do a how to paint show, you know, and I didn't, I don't really like, uh, generally you don't, I don't like how to paint shows. I, I find them to yeah. be like Bob Ross and stuff. Yeah. Like they're, they're, why, why is that? they're usually boring. <clears throat> they're, they're too slow for me. Yeah. You like something to yeah. just like quick, put it on there. Yeah. Ignite the canvas. Yes. As you like to say, yes, right? Uh, yes. Um, and it's, it's just too, it's too methodically slow and and also usually the the what they're telling you to do is usually a a, a method of um a li- of limited um ability you know just yeah because they're trying to appeal to the to the masses I yeah guess, yeah i've heard i've heard you a little bit on uh, some of your videos saying that there's like a hierarchy in the art world oh well and maybe that you feel like I mean, well, yes, yeah, yeah. you feel like there is you know yeah. I, and I, I guess i i sense it too because even being a yeah. musician there's like Okay. Certain, certain types of people and musicians yeah. that are just like, I don't know. That's not yeah. music. Why, why oh. are you making it like that for you? Yeah, know? It's like, yeah, yeah. Why does it matter what? Right. Sure, you know? sure. Yeah. Well, I, 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 that's for sure the case. I, I, uh, every, every, um, uh, you know, I, I see. I could see that in music as as in art and um, yeah, really everything probably. Yeah. Did, did you ever, uh, pick up any instruments yourself? Well, I mean, uh, n- nothing terribly very good at it <laughs> but i i can i can um, make some noise you know and, and with a piano or a guitar yeah or do, a drum yeah drum set do you know do but you own any instruments i i do have a guitar oh, okay cool but it, i i just can i i broke the, the i have to rewire it because it oh it, the strings broke or no no the, well strings are half broken and then <laughs> the, <laughs> the cord the cord to the amp is busted i i oh shit. well maybe i could get you another one i have i have plenty. oh yeah so oh, okay i'll show you what i got yeah yeah, yeah. for sure yeah it's it was just a thing i picked up off of ebay for mm-hmm. you know 100 bucks or something or it wasn't even 100 bucks hey well but yeah so yeah, but i like to uh experiment but it's more um just it's not has no there's i've never been able to you know hold, make a note correct or, or anything. Yeah, you know? yeah, yeah. Uh, it's just really just noise music, which I'm kind of good at. <laughs> and a lot of people do like that, you know? I love, I know, I I love having a lot oh, they, of that. Yeah, yeah they, they, there's, a whole, there's a whole world of noise kind of uh, like uh, festivals, mm-hmm. you know, all over the world. Yeah, and and in fact, like I've, I've been just, to a couple of them myself, yeah. Yeah, and they're just not as a... Uh, widely known it seems like or well, something like that you it's, know it's 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 not part of the, you know it's not like beyonce or nothing yeah exactly you know? but it's totally um a, a major you know it, it actually kind of uh, goes into the realm of art uh, or the un, um um you know it almost has a connection to the art world um because of the sort of obscure quality of it all <laughs> yeah because no one no one no, can't quite put the finger on what it is or or is this art or what is this music? You know, yeah. like you ask those questions or this is, sounds like shit. Do you and, think that's just a, that's learned, a learned like conditioning from wherever else the, uh, you know, I the, think that it's just kind of motivated you? A, I think it's a combination of a, a few things. For me, I, to, I had no uh, musical upbringing in terms of learn how to play or anything mm-hmm. uh, like zero though. Uh, you know, my, my parents and, uh, my older brother and my older brothers did did get that, mm-hmm. and I didn't get it. Uh, and uh, uh, so I'm, I'm I come to, into it with that kind of energy of of well, uh, I, I'm not I don't know what I'm doing, and yet I want to do something yeah. and make some noise, make some yeah, sound. yeah. But uh, plenty of people get into that world with knowledge, mm-hmm. with with the with all the abilities, but then they decide to. Kind, kind of, of go more a more chaotic route. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. It, so the, there's it's somewhat liberating and, to do it. You know. Yeah. And you, you can know? do that with 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 visual art too. Obviously, like as a painter, you yeah. you don't have to be trained to make crappy art or you know or so called crappy art or yeah. experimental art. You can just be no abilities and still make actually interesting art um, and quote unquote crappy art or whatever. Yeah, <laughs> whatever it, you want to call it, uh, uh, because it's it's more about because ultimately the art or, or music or uh, when you 
you know the core of of art in in the whole spectrum of art mm-hmm. is, is the is is an emotional response yeah to whether it be good or bad re- you're at least you're bringing something if it's out of good it. or bad and yeah. in fact there's too much impetus put on the perfectionism of stuff and i always yeah. talk about that everything is yeah. about perfectionism and it's a celebration of humanity and about you, this perfected reality that that is put forth by these human beings, you know, and yeah. we're celebrating God and we're going to make the wonderful, you know, yeah. come on, <laughs> you know, there's more, life's more, uh, sporadic and chaotic. And, yeah. and, and so I, I think art, is, uh, is also is represents, you know, I find more exciting when you, you know, find those other aspects. Yeah. It makes it uh, way more interesting. I yeah. Thought. You're, Yeah. So. so do you feel like it, people in pursuing the perfection, um, that kind of brings a lot of uh, anxiety and maybe even uh, unmotiv- unmotivates people to even try to do anything, oh, well, right? Yeah. Oh, I think that's that's the case for a lot of a lot of people. They give up. Is that what inspired on, you to say like uh, do let's paint TV and like li- tell people yeah. just to like keep going, keep right. pushing? Yeah. Yes, of course. Uh, a big part. Uh, you know, I mean, I don't. Uh, you know, I don't know if that was the mission statement, but yeah. you know, that <laughs> it could have been like just something that kind of it, came it off. It comes that. off. Yeah. yeah. Uh, uh, I definitely would, would agree that that's the case, uh, that I'm trying, what I'm trying to say. Um, yeah. <laughs> How many miles do you think of you clocked in on that treadmill, man? Well, um, I don't know. Cause I you, guess. you go in about a half hour, an hour at a time, yeah. it seems like. Which usually about every time I do it. It seems like I do about two miles on it. It's not a lot, lot. Yeah. And then just have to figure out how many I've, how many performances I've done. But I've, like I said, I've sort of slowed down a bit, and um, so I haven't really been doing a lot of uh, treadmilling, if you will. Yeah, <laughs> I've seen you on a on a Peloton bike, right? Yeah. Like, well, it's not a. Like? It's just a. It's just a bicycle. Just a regular bike. The, <laughs> but I call it. You know, it's not calling it a Peloton. It's a, a yeah. Paint kind yeah. of deal. Yeah, that seems I, a little bit easier to do than actually running on a treadmill, no? Or? Yeah, I guess um, it's all the same, you know. Yeah, I, I, actually, the treadmill you have more abilities with your arms oh, uh, okay. because you're, it's just your legs running. Where if you're on the stationary bike, you're you you have limited, you have less limit. Uh, range yeah you emotion. can't really like turn your body too much right like to go do other uh, things yeah, yeah it's a little more um uh, yeah so actually the treadmill has more uh, mobility in a way mm-hmm. are there uh yeah. is there like a standout performance that you've had like whether it be here in america or like europe that really sticks out in your mind it's uh, like maybe one of a your greatest yeah. ones <laughs> experiences uh i mean there's a uh, uh I mean, I could think of a few, but yeah. I, a lot of times it feels though. Once I always feel like once you kind of create that that kind of performance element of the um, that I that I that I that I provide uh, this multitasking thing, mm-hmm. if you will, um, they always feel very euphoric. And then actually, anytime I perform, I usually have that feeling. But there are, I guess, there are times when they, they seem to be um, extra special. Yeah. Yeah. Um, one time I was uh, up in Canada at this um, festival called Electric Eclectic Electric Eclectic Electric Eclectic Festival. Yeah, that's a tongue twister. Yeah, <laughs> and I and it's I always mix it up, but then they're up in uh, Ontario, and uh, it there it's in a, on a farm. It's it's and it's all full of like um, uh, they call it kind. Of, I don't think they call it this, but it's sort of like a Woodstock feel, you know. Yeah. But it, you know, so people are camping and there's, you know, porta potties and all that, stuff. all that stuff, and just lots of alcohol and, and, and drugs and, and whatnot. You know. Well, whatever. I don't know about yeah. that. <laughs> but I was, I drank a few beers, <laughs> and but, uh, and so they, they had provided, they had flew me out there, and then um, they uh, had me on my treadmill. You know, they they picked up a treadmill for me and all that, all that good stuff. But then they they had a, provided a band to play with me to perform mm-hmm. and so then I'm, I'm we're doing that and that was fun in the you know on the performance and then I guess they were taking suggestions from the audience we were taking suggestions okay. from the audience and then they said sing uh, 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 sing sing some Beatles song and uh, I forget what the Beatles song was they, but, they wanted you to sing it yeah, while, sing while it. you're performing yeah yeah, yeah. and so uh, so I did yeah oh. so did it, it, how did it come out it pretty, was, pretty a pretty winded version of a let yeah, it be. yeah, and and of course I made it up. I made up the 
the words. Yeah. Which I love. I love making up stuff. Yeah. On the fly. Yeah. Yeah. I, Whether so. it be two other songs or just making it up, like in general. Yeah, yeah. to to uh, to uh, original songs, famous songs, or just make up any song. Yeah, yeah. I like that. It's kind of I what like I do that. on here. Um, for every episode of if if I'm not interviewing a musician, but I usually try to make a brand new song like every episode, just oh, kind of okay. have it on in the background. And, oh, okay. So I'll try to make something special for this one too. Okay. Yeah. 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 It should be good. But um, so sounds good. With your drums or um, or, everything. Oh, everything. Yeah, guitar, bass, piano, drums. Okay, so you them. play it all. Yeah, I play it all. Oh, okay. Yeah, not to brag or anything, but yeah, all right. Yeah, nice. but it, it's just fun. It's something yeah. I've always been into. And then um, and then you mix them all together. Yeah, just uh, yeah. all on here on this program. Okay. And um, just try to edit it, and make it sound yeah. as good as possible. Okay. I did have a little bit of schooling. Yeah. But when I first started, I was a guitarist when I was about fourteen, and that yeah. was all just by listening to records and yes. by ear and stuff like that. Right, right, right. Yeah, my dad was, I was lucky enough that my dad exposed me to like a lot of Latin jazz and uh, okay. Santana, stuff like yeah, that. Yeah, like yeah, a yeah. Lot. Sure. So that really kind of a, was a pretty good foundation to see where I really wanted to be and what I wanted to listen right, to. And play, right, so. right. But there's a lot of improv in that, right? Uh, there is. Yeah. And uh, that's what, when I went, when I did go to school for, um, I was originally going for um, jazz performance for guitar. Yeah. And that's where I learned a lot of like improvisation yeah. and how to kind of move in between. Yes. Yeah. And then I ended up falling off some years later, going back to college again. And then I was the drummer this time, uh-huh. uh, being I was in a couple of bands and they kind of, we had falling outs with different drummers. They just were inconsistent. Right. So uh, I ended up just kind of picking it up. I really didn't know how to play at all, but my friends yeah. kind of just okay. motivated me. He was like, hey, just keep doing it. Right, right. Hey, take this jazz class in college. They, they, they do drum lessons like yeah. every week. I'm like, okay. So I did that, and I fell in love with drums even more. So, yeah, well, that's yeah. what it comes down to. What 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 makes you happy, or, you know, to keep doing? Yeah, it, I, do. I think it's just the challenge of it. It's like it seems like the the boundaries are endless, you know. Really? Yeah. yeah. And then having both like drums and guitar knowledge kind of helps yeah. with music making. Yeah. Because okay. I know what I would want to hear on yeah. top of whatever. But right, right. I usually just make it up off the spot. Like. Yeah. I don't, I really don't feel like it comes even from me. You know. Yeah. I feel like it's kind of like channeled in a way. Yes, yes. Do, do, do you feel that way with any of your yeah. art at all? Yeah, 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 totally. Uh, that, and that uh, that's a combination of the imp- uh, improvisational thing and just sort of let things fly. Yeah. Uh, as opposed to, um, you know, having to so be so in control of everything. I mean, I mean, I, I, it's a little, I mean, I, I like, and you know, as much as I bag on, on trying to be in control in, of, of what you're trying to do, it's... Uh, it also has benefits, so yeah, it does. <laughs> it know? does. It's uh, trying to find that balance of like a little maybe, bit of both, you know. Maybe, yeah. I mean, I, I think I think the mistake people have is that they think it's only the one way to go about it. Yeah, like, and uh, there's plenty of examples of of. Uh, I mean, I think music might be harder to uh, to to see sometimes, uh, but in visual world, there's plenty of examples of some weird stuff that clearly has no. You know, it's like out of bounds kind of stuff. Yeah. But I think in, but I don't know much about music in that sense. But I, I when I think of music, I, I, you know, like particularly songs, successful songs, that all seems to be pretty well cleaned like up, thought and, out. Yeah. 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 Well, so definitely with some of the, I mean, with obviously a lot of the major bands that we know today. Yeah. Yeah. A lot of stuff is very well. polished, and yeah. uh, they're very well trained yeah. musicians. Yeah. 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 But uh. But practice is is also the. You know, like there's plenty of, of, of particularly the singers and, and I guess maybe even other non-singers, musicians that don't can't read, you know, the music yeah, and yeah. do all that stuff. Yeah, but they at least they know from memory, mm-hmm. you know, muscle memory, I guess. Yeah, yeah, so. yeah. That's what all yeah. drums is. I think in any instrument, it's all muscle memory yeah. pretty much. But uh, yeah, yeah. In, in, in training and practicing, there, there definitely is like a... Uh, how do you say, uh, satisfying, you know, like just yeah. feel like you're working on yourself. It's almost like a meditation yeah. in a way when I'm doing it. Yeah. Um, I could imagine painting is probably the same way. Yeah. A lot of planes flying over there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're <laughs> <laughs> the, the flying We're, into Burbank Airport. Yeah. South, Bob, Bob. Southwest Airlines there. That's kind of, look, sometimes they, they you see them flying in a different, like usually, you know, they usually fly st- the same direction yeah but occasionally like this one looks like it kind of did some weird move yeah you know, yeah like, he's like oh yeah <laughs> kind of experimenting a little bit yeah or there might be some crazy like he's doing a little improv flying right now i don't know 
could hopefully be the, everything's okay. They, <laughs> hopefully they land okay. Yeah, safely. I hope so. <laughs> yeah, we can't have any of that. Yeah. I actually heard today. I think in New York, a helicopter crashed. Yeah, I saw it. that. Yeah, that was pretty yeah. weird. I didn't really read too much. I just saw that that on yeah, the ticker no, real quick. I, I, yeah, I read those tickers. Yeah, and yeah. I was like, oh, yeah. okay. Well, I got to get yeah. out of here. Hopefully, it doesn't happen uh, anywhere I'm at. So, yeah, <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> So, I saw that you had a, an art installation. You don't even have any notes. Where's your notes? Um, you, you just, all, all you in just the brain. threw that out of your head. Yeah. Like, I was like, well, you, you, where are your notes? You I just, do. I do actually. Oh, have, you have some. I do yeah. have some here, oh, but okay. I'm kind of pretty good. Okay, at, okay, you know, at least I feel like I do. Yeah. Yeah. yeah okay. No, I just making notes. Yeah. Um, <laughs> I know. Uh, I, I saw you had an art installation like in downtown LA some years ago uh, okay. for like Killed Off Motors. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Can you tell me a little bit about that? Like what motivated yeah. you to, to build cars out of cardboard, essentially, yeah. right? Yeah. 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 Uh, well, you know, it's one of those things where the, the space was available to to make art in. Mm-hmm. And uh, so uh, the, the gallery director, or, uh, the guy in charge, uh, Stephen Higgins, uh, was like, yeah, do whatever you want, you know, kind of thing. Yeah. So I I ended up doing that. But I before doing that, I had done like this other you know, I had already done a few other things in this space, so mm-hmm. it was just, it was just a, a big, beautiful space in downtown LA with windows all around. Yeah, so everyone was just so you could able look at see. it. And it was, ironically, no one. It didn't seem like anyone cared. You know, <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you get a little press and all, but yeah. that was it. But but it was it was fun to because you know. So it was just, what was exciting is is that you know he had these windows. A giant plate glass windows, mm-hmm. you know, from floor to ceiling, uh, on the corner of of this uh, Ninth and Broadway. Yeah, and um, it's just an ideal spot, and and it was empty. It's this empty place. Yeah, and and it just looked like a showroom, you know, for a car showroom. So that's what I. That's a, that's when and you... and the thing I had done previously for them, for that gallery was. Um, I made the fast food painting. I made a, a, a like a, a, a cardboard restaurant for fast food paintings. And yeah, then, yeah. And that was Is that where thing. you had like the ice cream cones with people's well, faces? Well, that's, that's or, something I did more recently, but, the burger, but I was the making. The burger with breasts? Yeah, I was yeah. doing burgers, mostly a lot of burgers. Yeah. And, um, and I ultimately paint people's portraits and burgers. Do you find a lot of people. What is this chicken? No, you're not. Now he's coming get, to the backyard. No, no, get out of here. I think you don't, the, I you think, don't live here, man. We got a chicken in the backyard. <laughs> <laughs> Where did you come from? Totally not yeah. afraid of us. Yeah, I know. Sure. I think she uh, wants to be on a podcast or something. Let me close the door. I don't want him going inside. Uh, that. Yeah. Say. Picking at your paintings. Hey, hey. Hey. No, no, no. Don't go in there. <laughs> He almost did. I know. I don't know anything about chickens. You either would have pecked or pooped. I'd, is that what it would have been? Probably. I'm, I'm I mean, not, and all the fine work that you have in there probably would have been ruined. Who knows? I don't know anything about chickens. So, but, uh, he's in our backyard right now. <laughs> <laughs> might lay an egg for you later. Who knows? Yeah. Or I might have some chicken dinner. Chicken oh, dinner nice chicken. Oh, chicken noodle <laughs> soup. I'm <not> doing... <laughs> I'm, I might have to join you on that. You know, if I had to, if I had to kill the chickens and pluck them, I, I don't know if you, I could do it. Yeah, I think I'd make me easily to go vegetarian pretty quick. <laughs> yeah. You know, no, no, I'm, yeah. kill the pig and all that. I don't know. Yeah, if I had to sl- uh, slit a cow's throat. <laughs> yeah, I don't think I'm. Like, do you really do want that, that burger? Yeah. Nah, I, I think I might go for some veggie burgers. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Have you tried uh, many of? Like vegan, yeah, sti- type yeah, of stuff. yeah. I, I mean, I, I mean, I, like, I mean, I could eat more of it though. It's it's gotten better, you know. Your eating habits, you mean? Or? Well, I mean, <laughs> maybe, but I mean, just like those patties, those those veggie patties taste oh, a little yeah. better. Yeah, They've they gotten taste, better at them. Yeah, they used to be really bad. Yeah, I don't eat. I, I mean, I do eat meat, but I don't know. It kind of. Yeah, it's not a, little a bit lot. Of, it's a little bit of both, you know? Yeah, I don't eat a whole bunch, bunch, but I will eat it. I will, yeah. If I crave a burger, I will have it. Yeah. I have uh, plenty of Pretty friends much. who are vegan and vegetarian. Yes. It's cool. Yes. I know. Well, I mean, yeah. 
um, if I were around more of that, I would I would probably be better. I would be more uh, doing it. I yeah. Guess. <laughs> How do you stay motivated when, say, there is like negativity and things like that around? Because a lot a lot of your yeah. videos when you have your your open callers, you know, they're yeah. just calling like insulting, throwing yeah. slurs, whatever it is that's out there. Like, how do you keep on that straight path? You know, um, what keeps you there? You know. Well, I mean, I don't know if it's always. I don't always succeed. You know, with yeah, there've been you times know, where you have yeah. yeah. So, um, but I, in a weird way, that it, when I'm on the treadmill, you, you're kind of going. You know, but also when you're when you know the camera's on you. You you know you're performing, so yeah, you keep going. And you kind of just got to like brush it off and move yeah. on to the next and, caller. Yeah, and and as long as you have a good, if you can keep your head, you know, keep reminding yourself that you know I'm not here to, uh, you know, battle, you know, like this sort of negativity. Yeah, I, you I ever felt to, like you didn't want to take any more phone calls? Oh or yeah, anything? I do that all the time. Yeah. yeah. Oh, okay. In fact, when I do the show live uh, on the internet, I. I'll end up having to just shut down the the phone calls because what usually happens is is it's usually one person calling and then it's it's just then, literally the then, one person calling and then all the trolls kind of jump no, in there. Right no, no, no. It what cuz I don't when I'm online now yeah. I, I don't get nearly as much um the viewers as I used to with the with the full on cable access when it was just airing to the public. You know, because mm-hmm. it's the internet, and how were you able to find out how many viewers you were getting then? Oh no, you, you don't know. You don't know. No, right? you don't know. But you just have to guess. Um, if if the subscriber base is a hundred thousand, you figure you get one percent of that. You get <laughs> yeah, one, you know, yeah, one thousand yeah. maybe. Yeah, yeah. That's still a that lot. That's still pretty good amount that's of people. That's watching. a crap load of people. Yeah, that's so, like a thousand but, more. But on the internet, you can clearly see how many you get, and it's like fifty. You yeah. know, like, you know, like, uh, or it can be. Yeah. I, I've had more for sure, but, but, uh, you know, like, it seems like it's 50. So then out of the 50, you get one person calling you and then they, they just want to just bug you and stuff. And yeah. then they keep calling you and you tell them, look, just call once, once a day. That's it. And they, they don't, they don't want to listen to you and they keep coming in the back so and then just they, talk. They get, they get obsessive compulsive about it. And, you know, I know that game. And so then I just, I just have to stop it. Yeah, just shut, I'm shut not, it down. Um, it's very taxing. I would, yeah, I would and then you know, interesting. Um, I don't know. Just an interesting thing always tends to be the case is that I think my brother always tells me this is that the uh, callers, even in talk radio, that they're, they're usually they really have nothing to say. They're nothing really that great comes out of their call yeah yeah they're most calls are are lame is what he said <laughs> and 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 that, that always sticks to me and in in some many cases that's true however you know you've had some pretty good no, callers I know. so you I, no, I know like There's from what i listen to that, yeah people yes. actually ask some really nice no, in-depth questions no, that, no, that are very good of course of course so yeah. it's not always the case but would I you say it's like a 50 50 or oh for mean, sure yeah yeah maybe more so the other way you know more like 90 10 <laughs> <laughs> But uh, anyway, yeah, it's hard to control the, I mean, there's no, um, uh, what do you call that, um, uh, sensor or whatever, you know, screen call, call screeners. Yeah, you used so, to have that when you were doing public no, access. No, no, you didn't. No, we never you used to had. ask that you did, but then they wouldn't, right? They yeah, would they, just couldn't. Like, they, oh, can't. they couldn't. I don't think they could, or at least it wasn't set up Yeah. Uh, to do that. Or I think what it was was, if you wanted that, you would have to have someone, you know, you would have to bring someone to do that. Yeah. They, they wouldn't provide that, you know, to yeah, screen the yeah, calls, yeah. I guess. I, I forget. Plus, it's kind of fun to just take the calls. Yeah. And being that you said, like, you could see your viewership now online, like, um, yeah. do you think it's also because you're doing, you're experimenting with, with different types of videos, you know, like you're doing a video painting, you're doing a video, like painting on a bicycle yeah or uh hanging out with you this and yeah. that like do you think maybe they're i don't know i don't, don't want to say there needs to be consistency but but do you think there needs to be a consistency you know in some oh. sort of way of like a, a certain type of thing to like maybe oh gather i momentum see to on generate it? the moment yeah possibly yeah yeah the you know, yeah, like the the bicycle idea i was gonna you know try to do that um, and just bring that, bring that on and just trying to be Mr. Bicycle. Yeah. And then I just did the one and I was like, oh, okay, that's, you know, <laughs> why you're just like, nah, well, no, I, I still want to do them, but it's just, you know, also 
I think too is that there's a frustration and uh, because you've done it for, I've done it for so long and, and I've had some kind of success you know whatever you call that but um, um, and then when you you know you do the stuff on your own and you're only you know no one's watching you know uh, I, I guess uh, someone could say well uh, yeah that's because you suck you know yeah and that's why like- no one's watching and yeah, that's fine. That's that's a valid point, but uh, obviously, mm, you know, I, I'm not buying into that necessarily. I'm buying into the, um, just to the idea that it's just it, the internet and uh, is just a humongous place, yeah. and it's so easy to be lost. And there's, I think, there's just a lot of good quality stuff out there that's just not put out. And, yeah. And and yeah. also on top of it, not to say that that what I'm providing is you know good quality stuff. But but some I always like to think that some some of the things I provide is good quality no, stuff. I, some, I, but not all. <laughs> just a it, little bit. It is great, and I, I think it, well, just it, a little bit. It motivates me because even you know whether your stuff is great or not, just hanging out with you on those videos, like the fact that you're at least putting stuff up. Yeah. Like motivates me to. I gotta really kick up my stuff a yeah, little bit yeah. more and okay. try a little bit more. Well, so. you just gotta love to doing it because. And it could, you know, you could find a way to make it, you know, monetize it. I mean, they got the yeah. What's that? A Patreon. Patreon. Have you, have yeah. you done that? I haven't Patreon. done that, but yeah. I but I've heard about yeah, that. I know yeah. a lot of people do use that. Yeah, I, yeah. I was using that. I stopped doing it but only because I kind of stopped like being uh, consistent. Being like, consistent, yeah. and um, but I'm kind of, I'm kind of trying to re, I don't know, just, just trying to. I I'll probably get back into the game if you yeah. will. No, yeah, and the, I'm here trying to figure I, out how to get into the game yeah. somehow, you know. And well, you, yeah. you're doing it, yeah, and trying it, yeah. Um, but I think it's just hard to to do it when you don't have like, um, a, a gigantic following in a sense, or or backing, yeah, or people prodding you to do it, and yeah. maybe even helping you do it. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I had, so, to, I had to do everything myself, yeah, you know, yeah, even yeah. though. Yeah, yeah. Like well, in my previous episodes, I have to, they're yeah. audio, but to put them on YouTube, I had to make a video. Yeah. So I do all the editing yeah. myself. And yeah. it well, becomes, that, that that part is not creative to me. So yeah. it makes me feel yeah. unmotivated to want to keep doing it. Right. And, and, and right. Yeah. And then and then when you only get 50 people watching, it's hard to just, yeah, you're like, I oh. mean, well, you should be grateful you get 50 people. Yeah. But, but at least it's on there archived. I think yeah. that, like as long as you're putting yeah. something there, yeah. then there's a piece of you, well, right. and a legacy of some kind. Yeah, yeah, behind, yeah. You know? Like um, I just, uh, I have some, videos that I uh that this uh person contacted me from uh the University of Chicago Mm -hmm. and they said we want to uh show a bunch of your videos uh, at our you know video uh gallery uh you know just like having Blake playing yeah and uh, and right now they're there right now all summer long playing um and so I guess if you're in Chicago you could watch that but but the videos that they've chose were all videos that, you know, a lot of them have only like 50 views and, you know, stuff like that. But they, this person thought that they were good, you know, and they liked them. You yeah. Know? So, you know, just, just because it's something that is not, um, uh, you know, you know, with, you know, viral, you know, just because your video is not viral, yeah. right? Don't let that stop you. Yeah. <laughs> you know? Yeah. Just keep trying to find out what yeah. it is. But you also realize that, that possibly your, your, um, your audience is, is not necessarily the mass media either. It's, it's a little more, um, has its own, uh, special, you know, it's, it's, it's yeah. its own makeup. Yeah. And, and, they're, and they're very raw and, and, you know, or good and bad, you know, yeah. which is great. Yeah. What do you think is keeping people from like jumping into the creativity pool, as you like yes. to say? Um, like, well, f- a failure. Just the failure? Yeah. And like, the, you, know. Uh, you know, here's the thing. People people give up on art, you know, let's just say painting in particular, mm-hmm. because they want to have, they want that masterpiece right away. But how are you going to, how do you get to that masterpiece? You got to f- practice. And you got to fail and you got to, su- you know, not mean you got to suffer. It doesn't, it doesn't mean you have to suffer. I mean, it, it's the way you look at it, but there's a lot of trial and error and, and you can, you can, you know, learn how to, you know, paint and, and, and learn new techniques and follow techniques and, yeah. and read books on how to paint that can get you so far that can get you to wherever you want, but it can still, you still are going to, um, uh, find frustration 
in the process. Yeah. And you, and Unless you, you get in the trenches and just kind of work it. Well, out, you right? have to have you have to let your passion take over, and and one of the one ways to to do so is is to throw that throw that nonsense out out in the garbage. Yeah. The at least one that's an option. I'm not saying yeah. do and it a hundred. You know, it's one of the hardest things of, to do. I feel yeah. is just like getting the motivation to do it you know like yeah well, some days i could feel like yeah, I, sure. i'm so into well, it other days i'm like man yeah I didn't, you know bummer. well yeah i mean that in that sense you, it's good to manufacture uh the the runs you know like in a baseball terminology to instead of hitting the home run all the time mm-hmm. you just just steal a base or hit a single or whatever yeah you know, just kind of advance a little bit a little bit and more so manufacture a run manufacture the creativity just kind of do something yeah and and um, as opposed to waiting for, you know, um, uh, inspiration to, to, to strike, strike yeah. which is also w- wonderful, but I think you, it helps to keep sort of yourself kind of well-oiled machine to, to kind of constantly, even if you're just sort of hanging out in the studio and you're just kind of goofing off. Yeah. Even, you know, even if you just, cause that could then yeah. in turn inspire you yeah. just to be kind of like yesterday, um, uh, like I, I hurt my arm. And it's like it hurts. Painting? Yeah. Uh, nah, I don't know what I was doing. <laughs> but anyway, it hurts. So I don't feel like painting right now. You know. Yeah. yeah. But so I was like, well, geez, I got all these things I want to do, but uh, my arm hurts. So, but you know, like I was just kind of looking at all these little um, sketches I had done, and I, you know, and I just kind of looked at them and I kind of decided well you know I, I should paint that I'll, i'm gonna you know i made a little notes so mm-hmm. i'm gonna paint that so it took me and you know it was it was a good hour to just kind of do you could that. do some research about what the next thing is going to be maybe yeah i mean i don't i mean i still might not do it <laughs> but, <laughs> well, but at least i was in you know thinking about yeah, it. yeah being somewhat productive so there's about a lot it, to be yeah. said about just thinking about it and not necessarily doing anything yeah <laughs> the, yeah, no, it's true though. Like as long as you're putting that in your mind, yeah. rather than like the negative thought yeah. of not doing anything at all, then yeah, yeah then you're definitely going to get somewhere. Maybe so. Maybe so. <laughs> exactly. Maybe. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> I'm not saying there's any. There's no right way to yeah. do this. There's well, no right way to well, do you've it. also said uh, I forget, uh, an article I read that Let's Paint TV is your biggest failure. Well, I guess I, I might have said that. Might have said know. that. You don't know. Yeah, I don't remember saying that, but. Yeah, because I, I, I personally, I, mean, do, I don't see it as as a failure. No, I mean, and people ask, they say, "Well, how you you talk about failure, but how is this a failure if you're you know you're yeah, here on stage I'm performing?" I'm seeing the comments, yeah, you know, hearing the people that call you, that's and not it's a like, failure. Yeah, so you're well, inspiring so many people because like, failure because failure is is success ultimately in a way. Mm. It becomes success, I guess. Yeah, it's just very hard to see it through. You know, like some see through that to yeah that it is that it will lead to that. But. Yeah. Well, because you're told from the day one that, you know, if you suck at something, you know, you're an idiot to keep doing it, <laughs> right? Yeah. What's that saying? There's that famous saying that, that I think it just people keep thinking, uh, what What do you expect to, to, to have a different result if you did it a thousand times and you suck? You expect a different result? What's mm. that? There's a saying like that. Yeah, something like that. I, yeah, yeah, I, I've like, heard that before. Yeah. You know what? If, but if you enjoy doing it, then then, you know, so what? Yeah, because Why? something yeah. will happen. You will get you will get a change. There will be some change. You know, just by by life existence, yeah. you're 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 coming at it. So that doesn't apply. I don't think that that kind of those. Uh, by the way, any saying anybody saying just that that's all bullshit. Those those sayings don't uh, don't let a saying stop you. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That's bullshit. I hate that stuff. That, that pisses that, me off, really. Yeah, no. It, it, people that just stops them. It's like. Uh, it's like stop a, them right in their tracks. Yeah, yeah. stop in their tracks, and then they then they're like, "Oh, okay, yeah, I'm gonna just gonna not do anything today." Yeah. I threw yeah. away all my yeah. brushes. I don't need to do this. Yeah. Shit. I'm gonna go yeah. do some boring something that's yeah. unfulfilling, you know. Yes. And then later on in life, when I get older, um, you know, I'm gonna reminisce about how much I wanted to be a painter or something like that. Yeah, you know, some yeah. artistic kind of yeah. endeavor of some kind. It's not for everyone, maybe. I mean, there's a lot of struggle. I mean, you can't sell all your paintings, and you know, I can't sell all my music. You yeah, know, it's like same thing. So. You know, it's understandable that, that it's not for everyone, I guess. But but it could be if you if you wanted it. It could be, or, le- or at least a hobby on the side. Yeah, you know? for sure, a yeah, hobby. Because it, I, like you yeah. said, like it must feel somewhat fulfilling just to at least yeah. get that creativity out. You know? Yeah. I mean, I kind of regret like musically not kind of learning to play music as a kid in a way. Yeah. But I think... It's never too late. No, but uh, I think the problem was always it's like learning a language. Um, 
I just never had, uh, I just have a terrible, um, I'm, you know, like I can't, can't do it kind of thing. You know, mm. I can't get over the, the, the mathematics, the, the logic of, ev- of how everything is supposed to be. Yeah. Yeah. And I'm more of a, just kind of jump in kind of person. Mm-hmm. And so I, I don't basically, I don't like taking direction, you know? Yeah. And uh, so, I mean, I'm a college dropout. So uh, okay. yeah, I was th- yeah. like, I was there well, for a while doing music and then my yeah. teacher told me, my music director at the time, she was just like, there's no, I mean, if you wanted to do music, you kind of just got to go out there and play. There, okay. I mean, this degree is only going to get you so far, gotcha. especially with jazz. There's like, sure. she was like, there's so many jazz musicians yeah. waiting in line for the next person to come uh-huh. off. It's yeah. like, you do what you want to do. And I decided right there, I was like, okay, I'm just not going to do this anymore because yeah. I just need to sit down and, <laughs> and yeah. yeah, do it. That was about 10 years ago. So. Yeah, yeah. Well. It's crazy. Oh. Uh. But yeah, yeah. I think all these other questions, I've we pretty much kind of tackled. Oh, mm-hmm. I, w- uh, I want to talk about Art Basil. Okay. Um, yeah. I saw yeah, it was like what about fifty mini installations, about yeah. one foot by one foot that you would. Uh, yeah, right here uh, in the backyard. Mm-hmm. Um, I invited people to set up their own booth. You do, know. Do you still do that now? Yeah, I mean, I did it three years in a row, and then last year I didn't do it, and I don't know. Why, sure. why is that? Is it a lot to? Uh, yeah, it's kind of like a it. lot having people come in your backyard and stuff. Try to entertain like total and... strangers. <laughs> <It's> like, <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Right. Just like me, right here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's 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 a little much, but I I don't know. I, I'm not certain if I'm doing it again. Yeah. I mean, I did it. So yeah, you did do it. It, yeah. it seemed like a pretty cool thing to do. It was fun. It yeah, was fun. interesting. After like it actually was in terms of community, um, interacting with the community was really nice. Yeah. Know? Yeah, it, art community it, and stuff. Did it, you find it give you it gave you like a nice boost or something like uh, as far as like getting mm, out there more or people already well, knew I, about you that did get it? Yeah, in a, in a sense, it did. I think it made me a little more accessible. Yeah, that that yeah. I had done that and that I'm you know a human being and <laughs> you know I'm alive. Yeah, yeah. And I'm an artist. I don't know. What um uh, what do you think is probably the next the next things for you like are you you said you're still trying to work on the, getting the live streaming going and all that stuff right? well I mean I've had already I'm already doing it but yeah. I, I just get back get back into it again um, other than that just make some paintings and and look for other opportunities you know that there's there's always these opportunities that show up sometimes it's a TV show that they ask you to come on mm-hmm. and stuff. Um, it, so that's fun, you know. Those, I just, but yeah, I don't. Yeah, I don't you've, really, uh, you painted Tyra Banks before. You've been yeah, on, yeah. Been on Eric Andre, but then it didn't yeah. make the cut, kind right, of thing. Right. And then he yeah. came on your yeah. your show before. Yeah, all that yeah, stuff. yeah. That's yeah. all fun, you know. That's fun and game. I just I did a little bit with the uh, for that the, the show Ancient Aliens. Oh really? Yeah, you know that <laughs> well, show. Yeah, what you <laughs> on History Channel? What'd you do? <laughs> yeah, I, I uh, they had me. Um, actually, I didn't even meet the guys. The, the the action Bronson guy yeah yeah they were they were not there but the the studio smelled like weed uh, <laughs> and so he, uh, he, I was for sure thought I was gonna you know they were gonna smoke a bunch of weed yeah you're gonna get contact and, high and or I was something. gonna get really high off it all but uh, but uh, they just had me uh, you know do my whole thing and interact with uh, uh, talking about aliens and stuff yeah, yeah like you were on the treadmill and everything yeah, like yeah, that. Yeah. <laughs> That yeah. is really interesting. I don't think that I was, was. Yeah, it was fun. I had fun. I don't know. You know, will it make the cut? Right. Oh they'll, man, I hope it does, man. They'll probably cut it. They said they probably just they'll probably cut it and put it in different shows. You know, just like hey, look at this nutcase talking it's about so it. It's so different, you know. Yeah yeah. yeah, yeah. And their, you know, their whole show is. I've only watched a few of them, but their whole show is just like whatever. You know, like you know, let's oh, you, smoke some serious weed and get high and talk about aliens. So. Yeah. Conspiracies and, and whatnot. Yeah, yeah, so I think that uh, the, it might make the cut. We'll see. Yeah. Do you yourself uh, believe in extraterrestrials and stuff like that? Um, I'm open to it. I'm not against it. Yeah. Yeah. I, I'm not. Um, You're not 100 percent either way. Like, yeah, yeah. Yeah. But you know, I think too with the aliens is is aliens is really kind of also just God too in a sense, or you know, like uh, some. Uh, in fact, some. I think there are some. Um, Religious groups where they actually, you know, like an angel could be an alien. Yeah, you know, it stuff just, like that. Yeah, from could, could very well be the case. Yeah, so like primitive people in the in uh-huh. the past that have no way of describing what they're watching. You know, yeah, yeah, probably so, some advanced. Yeah, so just like one of us came yeah. back. Or so, something like. so well, you know, Jesus was probably an alien, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. What probably the heck? Could. I mean, I'm okay with that idea. You know, I I'm like, not. And 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 and. and 
there's possibly bad aliens and good aliens too, right? Mm-hmm. There's probably some like evil ones, you yeah, know, you know, up to no good, like like the Viacom Corporation, you know, all yeah. that stuff, you know, what, <laughs> what, and, <laughs> and then and then also it could easily be that they're also you know in us. Well, oh. dust particles like the oh, oh, outer like, space uh, dust particles, you know, have bits of us in us in, in, in us all. Yeah, yeah, because we're just atoms. And stuff. We're all just that anyway. Yeah. yeah. So, man, so being that. What, do you think they're in us like like little ships or like little what? like like microbes? You mean or, or like, uh, like I don't what, know. whatever? I don't know, just whatever. Yeah, I can't figure. I'm not that far into it, my studies. No, uh, <laughs> I can't say that I am either. I just like to, I, I'm, just, I'm just always very curious because I don't really yeah. know where any of this is like going. Yeah. You know? No, no, I, I yeah. hear you. That's why when yeah. I'm like doing uh, stuff like this, I'm just like. Or, or when I do feel like unmotivated to really do it, I kind of just think like, man, just put it out there. It really doesn't yeah. matter. Like, you yeah, know, yeah. It, well, it, I mean, it matters. Might, to also, it. you might have, you might have some kind of angel uh, spirit helping you out on this too. I always think that sometimes. I, yeah. Yeah. Like, Going, you know, yeah. hopefully the good angels. I, I would know, hope. I, you know, that's why they have that little guy on the, on the either yeah, side. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Yeah. That, that's a real thing. And that's that, it's not bullshit. That's the real deal. It's real. It's, it's, real. it's real. And it's there ex- really is a guy there or a guy, whatever. Yeah. An angel, good and bad. Right? Oh, just lay in bed, you know, just yeah. chill, dude. You don't need yeah, to yeah. go get up and do that. Yeah. And then, like, people say, oh, uh, I hear voices. That's those little angels there. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you just got to tune into it. You know? <laughs> my frequency. Oh, no. You got uh, schizophrenia, yeah. my friend. <laughs> You fucked up. Oh shit! I'm sorry. Oh, uh, okay, no problem. Yeah. Man. Were you writing that? Don't let. Oh, I was gonna say something about uh, the 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 sayings stop you. Don't let sayings stop you. But it doesn't make any sense. That makes perfect I, sense. I yeah. But or, or quotes. Don't, yeah, quotes. Don't, don't let quotes. Don't stop let. You from- yeah, that's a that that makes more sense. Don't let quotes stop you. Because it does, I think it stops. I I see people get stopped by that all the time. Yeah, quotes. People that start something and uh. Yeah. Hey, yeah, like yeah, a year yeah. later, you're seeing what you're doing. Oh no, you know. No, nah, I I decided I I didn't want to do that because I heard a quote that said, you know, get that, get money and that you suck, and you should stop doing whatever you're doing because you suck. And that was the quote. Yeah. Or something. Like, that was enough oh, for me. Oh God, yeah, man. I, I do suck. I better just have a shitty job for the rest of my life. So now I'm going to or, law school now. Oh, yeah. I'm going to do something I don't really want to do. Yeah. That's always a difficult thing. You know, you wish, because um, I, I feel like any kind of art is like some form of magic in some sort of way, you know, and yeah. the fact that it's, it's not appreciated yeah. as much as it, I feel like it should be in this yeah. world, in this existence is kind of yeah. sad, a little weird, but yeah. as long as the fact that we haven't even got to do it is really cool. Right. But, you know, again... I, is it for everyone? I, I'm, you know, I think it could be, but you know, it, it probably isn't for everyone. And you still need lawyers, and you still need um, doctors, of course. And on top of that, uh, though, I I would say that it's it's a it's an ingredient to for everyone to use. It's a it's like um, uh, the 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 concept of creativity is you apply that to you can apply that to everything, mm-hmm. you know. Uh, you know, even being a lawyer or a doctor or whatever, you, you discover new things through through creativity and failure, you know. Yeah, because even within those, uh, what we would see it as pretty mundane jobs probably do have some sort of oh, creative of like, output yeah. in them. You yes, know? Yeah. yes. And, and, and I think people actually, um, you know, like even in war, people, the, the, the creative minds that, you know, to win the war use creativity, which yeah. is, you know, of course, I don't want to bring that up, but... <laughs> That doesn't sound all nice and all, but you know, <laughs> yeah, yeah. There's, there's some there's, strategies and stuff yeah, like that. Creative yeah, creative strategies are the way. You know, that's creativity. You 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 can use it for good and bad. Yeah, you know, like you said, magic. It is like magic. It you is. Know, some, I don't know. If, uh, I mean, it's an interesting way to look at it. But. Yeah, yeah, it, and maybe an interesting word to choose. Yeah, but, right. But it's magic. Def- it's know. definitely something that I do like using more often because I do feel like it is that. Like uh, I was telling you, earlier, like a. Uh, a channeling of some kind, you yeah. know, like yeah. to put the from yeah. there to your brush right. to the paper, the canvas, right. you know, it's yeah. There's something there, yeah, that's motivating and right. kind of like in charge of that in a way. I'm a, when I'm like um you uh you were talking about like a euphoric kind of feeling. Like when I'm performing music and I'm in that that zone, there, there it feels like there's yeah, it's almost transcendent. I, I like, yeah. I'm not even here anymore. Yeah, you know? yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. like also when I perform. 
uh, you know, I don't do it a lot, but there's sometimes like I'll be uh, a couple of times like like you feel like you're gravely sick, you know, <laughs> and it's not because of stage fright. You're just sick, you know, or maybe it has something to do with it. But then once you actually get on stage, you you feel good. You know, oh like, yeah, I mean, so I was like, I was a little nervous coming over here, and okay, I was like, yeah. oh my god, right, you know, I right. could feel like the little devil, yeah. you know, like ah, uh-huh. oh, you know, maybe uh-huh. you should postpone it or something. Uh-huh. But yeah. I, but then the other part of me was like, yeah. you got to get out there and just, you know, yeah, it's yeah, gonna be yeah. fine. You know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I mean, yeah, yeah. but that, that's yeah. like you know, I think what everybody deals with all the time. Yeah. You know, so is it stage fright? I guess it might be something to yeah. it, but I think it's also you know just you are. There's other factors because. Uh, like the the time I was thinking, of, like I had, you know, you get on an airplane and then you fly and then you ask to perform and then you, you know, you, that whole uh, process. Yeah, yeah. Um, and being in the air, you know, in this capsule, you know, and some you probably got sick off of just being in that yeah. environment. And yeah. Bad food, you know. The air that you're sharing yeah. with everyone. Yeah. Yeah. So I think that added to the to the thing. But actually, in terms of um, performing, I, I I tend to have a, a pretty. I always find I have a a calm quality when like you're when you're performing before I perform. Oh, like okay. A calm before the storm. Yeah. Yeah, that's what I feel. I don't have that like I'm puking off stage. Or, oh no, no, you just no. kind of get in your head, like yeah. get a little little focus going. And, yeah. All right, let's yeah. let's get this rolling, kind of thing. Kinda, yeah. I mean, I. Don't, I I kind of don't even think about it too much. I mean, I, but I have set up my performance so that it's not really, it's meant to, to fail and it's meant to experiment and yeah. to some degree. Yeah. Yeah. So, and, and, you know, if I'm bad, it's, it's kind of good. It's sort of my. Either way, it's still entertaining. Yeah. It seems like even when, when you do fail, people in well, the comments, they still love it in some yeah, way. They're like, and, then, and even when you do fail or I find that when I'm even in the process of failing, I find a re- uh, a moment of of uh, coming out of the failure, to, mm-hmm. you know, and have some form of uh, epiphany. Yeah, on stage, <laughs> on stage or in the studio, right? Like, Whatever. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. Well, John, I think we we're at the end. We're at about fifty three minutes. Oh, okay. All right. I want to thank you again for yeah. being on uh, my podcast, yes, Tomorrow Man Podcast. Tomorrow Man. Uh, where can uh, people find you? Um, on the internet, I guess. Yeah. yeah. Uh, was it, is it uh, Miss Let's uh, Paint TV dot com? Yeah, Let's Paint TV dot com is is a good spot. Spot. Yeah, and from there you're over, over I got on links, YouTube. Yeah, on yeah Let's you got TV, YouTube. Twitch. I'm on Twitch too. I mean, I, like I'm, I'm not streaming a lot right now, but I, I should and I could. Yeah. And uh, you know, Facebook and. Well, actually, well, uh, thanks again for being on here. Yeah. Thank you everybody for, for tuning me. in. Yeah. I uh, really appreciate it, and uh, see you next time. Bye.